Guess who's back? Xiao Felix is back. A little bit of an overreaction last week, I think. And uh, something else that I did wrong last week was that I kept calling Athletic Club Bilbao Atletico Bilbao. So I apologise for that. But no mistakes this week. I know full well that the team we are playing is Sporting Locomotive Betis Wanderers. back now there's a couple of things i need to go through before we start the game the game today is against betis and we'll get on and, and have a little look at them later and I, I was messing around with the name then obviously i know that their real name is real betis balompi balompi i didn't know that they were called real betis balompi i just thought they were called real betis so I, and at this point i probably need to come clean a little bit and let you know that my knowledge of la liga isn't that great. It's not as good as my knowledge of Italian football was, for example, last in last iteration of FM. Um, so you're going to have to bear with me with a few of these things. Although my pronunciation is spectacular, my knowledge is not quite as good. So should we start off with a little bit of a recap on La Liga? Um, well, not a recap, a catch-up on La Liga. So basically, we're second at the moment, which isn't too bad. Um, I'll explain why we're second in a minute, but one of the first things to note is look how far down Real Madrid are. Played six, won three, lost, uh, drawn one, lost two. They lost against, I mean, obviously one of them was against Barcelona, but they lost against Alaves as well, which is unexpected. So they're only on 10 points. We're on 16 points and Barcelona are on 18 points. We dropped a couple of points in our last game. Two top scorers in the league, Diego Costa and Alvaro Morata. For us, obviously. Average rating, Diego Costa is joint second, along with Marcelo there. Although it's a bit strange, like Bale, Bale, Marcelo, you know, they got there's, there's quite a few Real players in there, despite the fact that they're down in sixth. So while we're on the subject of La Liga, we might as well have a look at some stats. We've scored the most goals. That's why I want to look at the stats, isn't it? Because we've scored the most goals, 16. Barcelona haven't actually scored that many. They've only scored 10, joint seventh with Osasuna. But 16 goals in six matches is is pretty good, really. The only team with better form than us at the moment is Barcelona, and the league table reflects that. Games without losing, we're joint with Barcelona in six games without losing. Average attendance, you know, we're showing off the big three again. Barcelona, Real, and then us in third there with 61,370. But look at Barca, 90,000. That's crazy for attendance, isn't it? We're joint second in terms of goals conceded. We've only conceded four goals. But look at this. Barcelona haven't conceded a goal yet. So really, they are setting their stall out early for this La Liga. You know, they mean business. Ah, oh, okay, let's have a look at the fixtures, and if you detect a hint of trepidation in my voice, it's because it's simply because the last game that we played was a bit of a disaster. But last time you joined us, we played Athletic Club, Bilbao, and we won 4-1. Then we played Getafe, we won 3-2. Then we played Espanyol, 2-0 win, Ibar, 2-0 win, and then the big one. We played a little team called Juventus in the Champions League, perhaps you've heard of them. Turns out they're not very good. We beat them 2-1. I'll come back to this in a sec because I really want to show you the formation that I used for this because I basically tweaked our formation because of injuries that we had um, and then also kind of just to, to combat the threat of Juventus. Then we went on to beat Levante 4-1 and at this point I'm thinking, fucking hell, this is easy. FM20 is too easy. Uh, and then we come on to play Villarreal and for some reason it went tits up and I don't know why. Nil-nil loss. I'm calling it a nil-nil loss because it feels like a loss. You know, those nil-nils that feel like a loss. Yeah, we got a point for it, but it's annoying because it's meant that Barcelona have taken the lead in the Liga. Even at this early stage, Barcelona are now top. So, let me into a little... Let me... Let me... Let you... Let me... Let you... <laughs> God, sorry. Ooh, let's start again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that bit completely differently. Okay, cool. So for the Juventus game, I knew they were going to be a threat, and we had some injuries. So we had Morata out, and we had Saul out. We also had Correa out, um, and I think we had someone else out. Who else did we have out? Lamar. So basically, we were really, we were weak, you know? It was, it, I, I was worried that it wasn't going to happen, so I thought, let's just try and go for, go for a draw, essentially. 
what we'll do is we'll play a holding uh, a defensive midfielder and I think actually Llorente was playing as an anchor man in that in that position there and then we'll move João Felix up a little bit so basically the idea was that Trippier would cover this hole uh, Felix was then free to move into the middle a little bit if he wanted to to help out Costa but also could come back and cover this area as well so we're hoping that this area is fairly covered in the same way that it is on the other side but then Costa is just up front on his own. What I found with this formation was that Urente was kind of almost playing like a Carrilero. He was moving side to side and he was filling in the gaps on the wings that we were leaving by, the, by our wing backs attacking, which was brilliant. I kept seeing him down here tackling. We had 13 shots to, to their 12 and 52% of the possession. I was creaming my knickers, basically. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Pau. Pau Torres. Um, Torres already, obviously a famous name in Atletico history, but this is a different Torres. This is Pau Torres. Pau. <laughs> Pau Torres. I can't say that name anymore. Pau, Pau, Pau. Pau Torres. A very handsome chap, as you might recognise there. We've signed him for... I don't even really want to say. 12 million euros? It's a bit much, isn't it? He's okay. It's a bit much to... <laughs> I mean, it valued at 8.7 million and we, play, we paid 12 million for him. I got a little bit desperate, all right? We haven't got much cover at centre-back and we needed someone. He's only 22 years old. It doesn't show good potential ability, really. Not true. He's, he's, uh, he's quite good. His name's Pau. Yeah, okay, this is, this is probably the, the, this is probably the biggest fuck-up I've made so far, potentially. But I kind of feel like I've got to give this guy a chance now. And you never know. He, he could come good and um, end up helping us out in some way. Fucking digging myself into a hole here. And at the end of the day, if he does a job for us, if he comes on and scores a goal in a crucial game, or if he comes on and, and stops a team scoring a goal, or if he, if he does two or three things in the season and we go on to win the league, that 12 million will be worth it. He's just there for cover. 12 million for cover. <laughs> oh, God. Today we're playing Betis, or Real Betis Balompi, as they're known up here. I have no idea what Balompi means. Perhaps someone can tell me in the comments. I've got no idea at all. Media prediction, 9th, currently 12th. Fierce rivals are Sevilla, and that's because Betis is in Seville, essentially. Sevilla. Um, so there is a club on the other side of Sevilla, presumably. Other local rivals, Malaga and Zerez. Is that how you say that? I don't know. They've won La Liga back in 1935. So they, they don't have a huge uh, silverware cabinet, as you can see. One win of La Liga, two Copa del... Is that Copa del Rey type thing? Campeonato de España, Copa de su Majestad el Rey. Yeah, Copa del Rey, essentially. And then La Liga Smart Bank, they've won that six times. And I think La Liga Smart Bank, what the fuck is that? I think La Liga Smart Bank is like the second division. Yeah, it's a Spanish second division. So La Liga Smart Bank, they've won that a few times. So it looks like they've been, they've gone up and yo-yoing up and down the leagues, essentially. So most recently then, they were promoted in 2015. So they kind of haven't been in La Liga for that long. Although they, they appear to be a fairly stable La Liga team if their media prediction is ninth. National reputation, great training facilities, good youth facilities, rich finances... Star player is Sergio Canales, who I have heard of. 28 years old. Oh, our scouts only give him 62 rating there. So he's not good enough to play for us. 33-year-old year old Mexican. What's his speed like? 14 is not bad, actually, for a 33-year-old. So he's playing as a Mazzala, is he? He's not, he's not too bad, actually. Um, and then we've got Carvalho down here. Oh, it's William Carvalho. Goodness me. As a deep lying playmaker. He too has had six appearances, one goal, seven point three rating. He's 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 good. I mean he's he's getting on a bit now, so you know. Let's see who they've got on the wings, because that's always useful to know. Juan Mi, twenty one million, kind of a a good sort of overall player, seven point two rating. They've got a lot of their players have got um good average ratings this season so far. Just as I say that, along comes Christian Tello with uh, 6.68 rating. And let's just have a look who they've got up front. Borja Iglesias. No relation, I don't think, to Enrique. 
not much change, basically, apart from the fact we've obviously got Saul and Correa out. Um, Saul's coming back pretty soon, in fact. What is it? Two days. So that that's not too much of a worry. Vesalco is still out injured, and he's going to be out for a while. But we do have Felix back, and Felix is going to step in on that wing. We could play Vitolo there. We could play Lamar there. But I'm thinking I'm going to give Felix, Felix a go. What's his fitness his fitness like at the moment? Yeah, he, need, he needs to match sharpness, so I'll give him a go. I'll give him a half, see how he does, and then maybe we'll switch it up and bring Vitolo or Lamar on. Oh, black at the back. Renan Lodi. Renan. Renan. I don't know how you fucking say his name. Oh, black at the back. Oh, black at the back. Renan. I think it's pronounced like Henan, like Brazilian names. Let's have a look at him. Renan. Renan. I don't, I don't know how you say it. It's definitely not how I just said it. It's something like Renan Lodi. Henan Lodi, let's go with that. Henan Lodi, Felipe, Jimenez, Trippier. Coque, Herrera, Llorente, Felix, Diego Costa and Morata up front. I think it's a strong team, even though it's not necessarily my first team, but it should be strong enough. I'm not too worried, so shall we? Hello, hello, let's get on with it. <laughs> what the fuck am I talking about? Right, this time I am going to do a team talk. Passionate. Uh, let's give the fans a performance. Oh, not, not many people really care. Okay, tunnel. The assistant can have that. I don't care about that. Let's get this show on the road. So, we kick off. And then Lottie with the throw. Here's Herrera. Costa does a lovely little swivel and then sort of passes it out to no one. Or is that a corner? Oh, it's a corner. Corner. Murata doesn't get to it. Canales has got it. Oh, Canales has got it. He's a good player. Juan Mi. Oh, good tackle by Lodi on the wrong wing. For some reason, Jimenez. What's going on with Jimenez? What's he done? What did he do wrong? He hasn't done anything. The hell is his ref on? Canales. It's a good strike, but it's straight into the wall. Here's Gua Guadado. Guadado. Borja Iglesias. Guadado. Sydney. It's come to nothing. Both of our centre backs are on yellow cards now. And we're not doing great, actually. As Betis have another attack. Here comes Tello. Oh, God. Luckily, he can't shoot. Two shots to two so far. This is... This is a terrible game. Here's Herrera. Diego Costa. Herrera. Costa. Llorente. Felix. What can Felix do? He finds trips. Trips. Lovely skips. Ooh! Hits the post. 50-50. Not brilliant so far. Oh, tell he's offside. Missed anyway, but he was offside. Iglesias, Juan Me. They're having a lot of attacks here. Tello. Close him down. Close him down. Watch Juan Me! Oh my goodness. That was close. This is bad. Well, that was a shit half. Okay, so before we start the second half, I've made a couple of changes. I've brought Lamar on for Felix, because Felix was was doing crap basically and then I've switched wings so Koke is on the right now Lamar is on the left and he's in a, in a more advanced position as well um, and then also I've taken Felipe off and brought the new the new guy Pau Pau Torres on just because Felipe's on a yellow and our entire back line were on yellows so at least I can try and avoid one of them getting sent off demand more come on clear it well done Jimenez here's Koke what can Koke do Lamar Lamar Oh no! Is he onside? He's offside, isn't he? He's offside. No! Oh, what are you doing? What is he doing? For God's sake, our black! You're supposed to be the best goalkeeper in the world. What the fuck is that? Oh my God! Oh, right, something's, something's got to happen here. Let's have a look at the team instructions. We're going to go more direct. Distribute quickly. More urgent pressing. Let's try that. Oh, this, is not, this is not going well. This is not going well. Oh, time is ticking away. Come on. Okay, Jimenez. Trippier. Give us a goal. Trippier, keep going, keep going. Cross it in. Cross it in. Well done, Trips. Well done. 
Urente! <gasps> Good save by Joel. Corner. What can we do from this? Corner comes in and the keeper saves it. We need to be applying more pressure than this. I'm going to go all out attack. Here's Joel. Tello. Tackle him. Henan Lodi. Brilliant. Go Lodi. Go. Here we go. Lamar. Lamar. Lamar the substitute. Oh god. Straight into defender's arse. And what's that? Corner. Come on Atleti. Corner goes in and it's to nobody. Here's Lodi again. Get it back in. He finds Koke. Koke finds no one. They clear to no one. 70 minutes and fuck all is going on. Here's Pedraza to Borja Iglesias. Do not concede now, otherwise we are well and truly screwed. This is terrible. Why have we... Oh. Why have we lost our form? So dramatically. Guadado with the corner. Herrera clears Sydney back in. Pau Torres with the header. And Pau's on a fucking yellow, is he now? little tit come on get it off him we haven't got time for this 71 minutes oh, i was only one minute since i last looked at the time this is outrageous pow herrera lamar costa Morata. oh it's a good shot from Morata, and it's saved by joel come on come on come on costa no urente herrera herrera finds trippier what can trippier do is he offside Oh, you are joking. I've got to do something drastic with the tactic. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Quite a few changes there. Uh, but ugh, this is going to have to do. Come on, we're going through the centre now instead of the wings. Herrera. Urente. Trips. Trips. Pass it. Koke, Urente, Trips, Urente, Koke, Herrera, out to Lodi, get it in Lodi, get it in, Lodi Morata! <gasps> Show some passion, for fuck's sake. Canales, William, Mandy. Tello and Yama, we've got time for this. 87 minutes, Tello! Oh, he's only just missed. Pow. To Costa. No, Costa doesn't get it. Costa, brilliant tackle. To fucking no one. Mandy, come on, 88 minutes now. Costa, well played, Costa. Get it in. Oh, battle for it. If we're going to win the league, we need to be winning games like this. Battle for it. Koke, Urente. Urente again, he finds Trippier. Trippier, get it in. Oh, and it's cleared. Koke, just have a shot. Jimenez. Over the top to no one. Urente. Morata. Trippier. We're pressing now. Come on. No. Oh, no. Here comes Juanmi. And he's fast. Brilliant challenge. Oblak picks it up. 89 minutes. Oblak clears to only as far as Tello. What are you doing, Oblak? Wanyama. Oh, this is bad news. Sydney. Pedraza. William. This isn't going to go well, is it? Oh, this is bad. Tello. Loddy. I mean, Loddy's brilliant, but... Oh, this is fucked. What's happened? What's changed? Lamar. Oh, no. Tello. Straight over the top to no one. It's a goal kick. 91. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Our first loss. Um. Honestly, I'm not really. I'm not really sure what happened there. This is. This is weird. I mean, look at the schedule. Our schedule. So. How can we go from all of those green dots to a red one inexplicably out of nowhere? You're talking about exactly the same tactic for every one of those games. Every one of those three games. Every one of these games, in fact. All of these games had exactly the same tactic. One thing's for sure, it needs to change. We need to do some, some research. I need to look into this and try and work out what's going wrong because maybe it's a one-off. I don't know. We'll see. We need, to, we need to go back to the drawing board, basically. They need to get back in training.
and then we'll see what happens over the next couple of games. A bit annoying because we've got Champions League match coming up next against Leon, who are quite good, aren't they? So hopefully we can put up a better showing than we did there, because that was fucking woeful, to be honest. I didn't really see the team that I've been seeing all season there, and in the last game as well. I don't know if this has coincided with a football manager update or something. And perhaps all my previous wins have just been hacks. <laughs> I don't know, but hopefully not. We'll see. Join me next time where I may well get sacked.